they get close We a little wild war Welcome to episode five of My Pursuit, and uh, it is Tuesday morning. I was gone for the weekend. If you guys are on Instagram and you follow me, CJ Media, you know I was in Breckenridge skiing my last ski trip of the season. Got in two full days. Man, it is beautiful. That is such an awesome mountain. Uh, skied probably the most technical stuff or steepest I've ever skied. Uh, it just insane and beautiful all at the same time. Such an amazing little town. <sighs> Can't wait to go back there. But the last couple of days, I have just been uh, training light, recovering, did a swim yesterday, have been working on the garden. I have that done now. It is planted, got the bell peppers and the tomatoes I had in there, a bunch of squash, and uh, then I got a bunch of herbs going in the herb garden, so all of that is planted and I can't wait. I love going down each morning because it's really neat to start to see what changes every single day. You'll go from a bloom to an actual fruit and then some of these zucchinis an inch or two inches every night. So that is one of my favorite parts of gardening is just getting to go down there in the mornings and see what's changed every day. But all of that is done, the driveway and all of that is finished. Now the backyard is gonna get started with some grading and grass and all of that. But this morning I've got an hour ride, just an easy ride. This evening I have a one hour run with the club and uh, I'm actually knocking this out nice and early. It is 5 a.m. in the morning. Hopping on the bike, knocking this out because I need to get to the nursery because I'm picking up a new fruit tree for the backyard. And then back here, work, just normal Tuesday. But in this video, I wanted to talk about my diet. I get tons of questions about why am I not vegan? How can I eat meat? How can my coach be vegan? What am I eating? How many calories? All of these questions. So I figure we'll talk about my diet. I just hopped on the scale and I am 205.8. Eight. So since February 10th, I believe, we're probably eight or nine, nine weeks in maybe now, 10 weeks, I forget, I'll double check and put it right here. But I am down 14.8 pounds in just about nine weeks. And I have 13 weeks, I'm in week 13 of training to Ironman 70.3 Oregon. So in order to get to that goal, I need to lose 5.8 more pounds over 13 weeks. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. I am super pumped about actually going maybe lower. How low can I get by the race? And uh, obviously staying healthy, eating as much as I need for training, but uh, I really, really would like to get down uh, to as lean as I can. I'm gonna lose some muscle, but as lean as I can by the race. But now, gotta hop on this bike. <laughs> I am done. Hold on, fan's still on. That's better, a little more quiet. Well, I am done with that. That was an hour easy, just Zwift, nice. I'm working to try and get to level 20 on Zwift so that I can start my own Endurance Club. So then we could do some group rides for those of you who are, who are interested. So I'm at level 18, trying to get as much mileage in and uh, look at all the hacks. I'm now riding kilometers and uh, riding a tri bike all the time, which I pretty much was doing anyways, but uh, that's what I'm working towards as a goal of level 20 on Zwift. So hopefully that's only a month or so away, but that felt really good. I am now headed out to go pick up a fruit tree at a local nursery called Moon Valley. One of the trees that I planted about a year or so ago just didn't make it. For some reason it is in with the citrus trees. 
and all the other ones are fine. This one, no good. So uh, I'm headed back down there to pick up a new one. But before I go, I checked the calendar and it has been nine weeks since I started recording again and I started back on my nutrition plan. So I am currently feeling good, feeling like uh, the body fat has been coming back down, starting to be able to see some abs again. And uh, that's always, always nice. Well, this morning I kicked off the day with a Kodiak waffle. Now, typically I will just use a carb powder or a Huma gel if I'm riding or running or swimming. But uh, this morning I just woke up feeling really hungry and wanted something in my stomach before I got on the bike. So they're super easy. That's why I use them and uh, just pop it in the toaster. They're warm. So that is one of the pre-workout items I will use because it's 4.30 in the morning, quick and easy. One of the things that is not done yet is planting a bunch of planters that go around the pool. And those are going to be succulents. I really like succulents, so doing a bunch of planting to put next to the pool. Breakfast is done on the way to the nursery. Hopefully there's not a lot of work traffic. I think I'm early enough that I will get there in about 30 minutes and miss work traffic. So that way I am back before 8.30 a.m. I am definitely gonna need some help getting this thing out of here. It has got to weigh a couple hundred pounds. I'll be calling my buddy Tim to see if he's available to come by this evening and help me pull this thing off the truck. Luckily, there was hardly any traffic, so I am home 8.15. Awesome, now I can get to work. It is snack time. I have got uh, just a bunch of things I'm throwing together. A tortilla and I've got some peppers and a corn bean mix that I put together. And uh, I will probably put a little bit of ground turkey in there. Uh, haven't really gotten any protein in today, so I will use a little bit of that. And uh, I don't have any avocados, darn it. I actually did have some avocado that's uh, still in pretty good shape, so that's perfect. Now, got a little bit fat in there. So, putting yourself out there on YouTube, I definitely expect to get feedback, criticism, questions, all that stuff. You know, over time, I think my skin has gotten thicker and, uh, you know, People are entitled to their opinion, and I actually love hearing a lot of the feedback. And one of the things that I guess I didn't expect that I would get as much feedback on is the things I eat. You know, whether it's something that uh, is maybe not as ideal, nutrition, you know. My kids like Skippy peanut butter. Yes, I could buy something different, and many times I do, but I don't always. Food's ready. I know it's got more sugar in it, it's not ideal, and when I go to certain places, I will buy better peanut butter. Or things like uh, the fact that I eat meat. I am amazed how many comments I get. Yes, I have a vegan coach. And yes, we're friends. Yes, he trains me. 
and I eat meat. So it is crazy times we're living in, I feel like, where uh, you, you kind of have to align on all fronts or you can't align. At least that's what it feels like. And for me, I am really not super opinionated on many things. And uh, I'm pretty flexible, you know, I, uh, everybody gets their choice. They get their uh, religion, their politics, they get the food choices they want. And yeah, I uh, try to lead by example as much as I can. But overall, I try and eat as much plants and uh, plant-based as I can, but I still eat meat here and there, you know, dinners primarily. Right now, I didn't, uh, haven't had much protein. So yeah, I'm gonna throw a little bit of ground turkey on there. And uh, for me, it's all balance, as much healthy as I can get in. And then sometimes I take shortcuts, maybe some prepackaged oatmeal. I use a meal delivery service and I'm actually just switching that up. I've got a, a delivery coming today. Can't wait to see what's in it. But, you know, for me, I would love to be able to cook every single meal, uh, that is totally a lie. I don't enjoy cooking that much. You know, I, I cook and heat up and reheat and put together out of necessity. And I don't really enjoy cooking all that much. Every once in a while I do, but overall, if the meal delivery service makes my life easier and allows me to get my job done, see more of my family, get the training in I need, then it's a balance for me. I will pick the food delivery service and go with it and uh, enjoy my life. So yes, I am not 100% vegan. I get that all the time. Uh, one of the comments was, you know, you donate to save the planet, but here you are eating meat, destroying the planet. Well, I guess I could just keep all the profit from these videos and uh, not donate to protect the planet. I mean, it's, this camera's expensive, my gear's expensive. So maybe since I'm eating a little meat, I should just uh, keep all this money and not donate it to charities protecting the planet. I don't know. I, I feel like I try and do my part and make as many healthy choices as I can, but at the end of the day, I'm not perfect. I do what I can. And this is the, the real me. It's the food I eat, the mistakes I make, and uh, there are days where I will grab cookies or I'll eat fast food or I'll have a couple of beers or whatever. And that's life. The biggest thing I think that I have been able to start to try to do more of is when I do, I don't wanna say bad choice, when I make a choice with food that doesn't align with my goals, uh, I don't let that continue to spiral the rest of the day go out and say, yeah, whatever, had fast food because it was easy, convenient, or had some cookies, whatever it is, right? I indulged, I uh, ate something that didn't align with my goal of losing weight. I try and get that right back on and aligned the rest of the day. It's very easy to blow it on a meal and then just be like, ah, whatever, Monday, we'll get back on it. Or, uh, just the day's a waste, might as well just eat bad all day. We all slip up and that's life. Catching up with my man Ari on YouTube. The doorbell just rang and I know what that means. My delivery of my meals from Factor is here. I mentioned I've been using a meal delivery service. I used to use Trifecta and took a break and wanted to change it up. So now I'm going with Factor 75 and last week the meals were delicious. So I just got my delivery today and uh, see what's in there.
So each week I get a delivery of 10 meals. They are vegan meals. This week on the menu, I've got black bean and rice enchilada bowl, smoked tofu and baked beans, spicy sweet potato saute, vegetable ratatouille, three bean vegan chili, and chickpea curry. I really enjoy these meals. They slide right open. It's about a two minute microwave time and pop them open. I usually plate them after I microwave them and they're delicious. So now I need to pick what I'm going to have for lunch. Apparently this black bean and rice enchilada bowl is a brand new recipe. So I've got two of these. I think I'm gonna have this one. 420 calories. All right, well, the day has flown by. It is 5.15, it is time for me to head out to my club run. Gonna get about five and a quarter miles in tonight. My plan is to take it easy, not let my ego get the best of me and uh, run harder than I should. Really gonna focus on zone two running. All right, well, this video I titled My Diet, and I wasn't going to go into a lot of detail about what I eat every single day, but I just wanted to give an overview as to what I did to go about getting my nutrition plan set up. And first, I used to use a calculation for what my resting metabolic rate would be. Basically, if I laid in bed all day long, what is my metabolism burning or what am I burning on a daily basis? And predictions with calculators, my age is about 18. Well, I was using that and I, I wasn't losing weight. I was starving. I was bonking during workouts. I basically just wasn't eating enough food and I wasn't losing any weight. So I went to a place called DexaFit, which is a local place here in Orange County. They have other places which can measure your resting metabolic rate. And they put a machine on with a mask and I was predicted at 1800, but I actually was 2260 is what I should be eating as far as calories if all I did was lie in bed all day long. Then you add activity calories. My job is sedentary, so it's not really that much. It's about 300 calories. So on a daily basis, if I do nothing but work and sleep, my calorie intake to maintain my size was 2,500 calories. And I actually was 25% faster than the predicted, or I had a, a higher metabolism by 25% than the predicted rate. So from there, I started working with a friend to dial in my calories or my macros. And I follow that pretty much every single day. I'm eating about 2,800 calories during the week and about 3,000 calories on the weekend. So for me, with workout calories, meaning the calories I'm taking in while training, that's about 350 grams of carbs, 170 grams of protein. Now my protein, sometimes they say one gram per pound of body weight. Well, I am trying to actually cut size. So I'm going with 170 grams of protein and 80 grams of fat is basically what I use for five days a week. On the weekends, I up the carbs a little bit because that's typically when I am doing longer bike rides, longer runs. So then I might go up to 450 grams of carbs. So I'm adding an extra 100 grams. But overall, I am consistently trying to meet that all day long. I try and break those up. Other than during my workout, that's pretty high carb. But the rest of the day, I try and break that up and get a mix to meet what I need to eat. I use MyFitnessPal, it's a free, easy to use app, and I actually put in my macros, and I just use it all day long. I scan foods, I add foods, and that makes it really easy for me to plan my day. That is one of the keys has been planning out what I'm going to eat. So I know what my workout calories are, and I plan it out so I don't end up at the day, end of the day with a lot of calories left over, 
or run out too early in the day. So again, it goes back to planning. I talked about planning my day in the past videos. Now I plan my diet so that I really, really know what I can eat. The other thing I do is I eat pretty repetitively. It's pretty much the same things every single day. So it becomes very easy to predict what my calories are going to be. Now, in the next few weeks, I'm actually going to be modifying my diet slightly to see what happens. I'm actually going to start to decrease my carbs by about 100 grams and increase my fat intake and see what that does over the next three weeks to my weight loss. So what I'm really trying to get at is if you're struggling to lose weight, you think you're eating the right things, you may want to go get a resting metabolic rate test so that you actually know what your metabolism is doing. Because if you have yo-yo dieted in the past or you've been starving yourself too long, you just, you don't really know what your metabolism is without getting it tested because people vary greatly. So that is it for my diet or my nutrition plan. I really like calling it my nutrition plan, not my diet. That's it. If you have questions about my nutrition or who I use for figuring out my nutrition, leave it in the comments or hit me up on Instagram, on my website. You can go to endurus.com. Send me a message through there and I can at least point you in the direction of some of the resources I have used. But that's it for this video. I got to get to my run. Tonight is shoe demo night, which is really cool here at the snail space. Saucony is here and we'll be demoing some shoes. Not sure what they're bringing, but uh, I've been running or training in the Triumph, which I really like, but uh, I'm looking for something uh, to race in. So we'll see what they brought tonight.